Good evening, RPG Limit Break. This is a DWR tournament race. We are in the bracket stage. Two very good runners tonight. Nest Cardinality, Angel FM, game one of their round. Uh, I am Cyberdark86. I am joined tonight by Yogi the Monk on comms. How's it going, Yogi? Hey, pretty good. And this is the uh, final eight of the 2023 summer tourney, Dragon Warrior Randomizer. And let's see, we've got Metal Dream, EMP, Slamu, Ziggy, DK, Aaron, and Nest Cardinality, and Angel, which is this race here. And this is uh, probably the, the matchup I've... Uh, probably be most been looking forward to, <laughs> to be honest. Um, uh, whoever loses this one, uh, an incredibly strong runner is going to get knocked out of the tournament here, either way. Yeah, these are two of the top standard racers we have in the uh, community. Angel has won a couple of tournaments before, I think. Ness, though a very, very good speedrunner and very, very good at this game, has not managed to win a tournament yet course has all kinds of records in vanilla so both have a very very good chance of getting through and making it to the finals Cyber, what would you say their uh their specific strengths are ness knows the game the enemies and everything very very well uh, i would say probably better than angel however i think angel knows the ins and out of randomizer a little bit better yeah, for sure. For for one thing, I think if it comes to a reverse count or something like that, I think that's something that Nest Cardinality is not too uh, comfy with, while as Angel might be more uh, inclined to do that. And we, we're starting out with a torch and a cursed belt and a magic key here in the throne room with a six strength start, which is quite low. It's only two above the minimum strength of four and uh, a big beefy amount of health. So. But the torch is nice for a little bit of damage on the on the first enemy here. Town right outside. Ooh, unfortunately, it's Key Town. You can't sell the curse belt in there because there is no shop. But when we get the gold, we have keys right away. Now they have hurt and eight MP, so they can cast hurt four times. They also have a torch, which is the same as casting hurt or no, sorry, a little bit less. So we'll be able to kill enemies fairly quickly and level up. This card killing a couple blue drakies while an angel finding a, a magic drakie right away and um, jumps out into a 3 EXP lead. Level 2. We see sleep there so we could find some maybe stronger enemies like wolves, put them to sleep and kill them pretty quick with hurt as well. Yep, along with one more strength, 5 HP, uh, I didn't see the IG, and uh, 1 MP. Level 3 brings uh, a few stats, it's a decent amount, but nothing to really push us too far forward. 3, 5, 3, 4, and no spell. This guard headed back in to refill... MP on this uh, wizard over here. Get the uh, hurt MP back. Angel did find a wolf about seven or eight tiles south. So probably after getting this key and refilling MP, you could use a sleep on that and hurt a few times and level up real quick. Angel has enough gold to get one key. Oh, wolf, wolf, wolf hurt more takes Ooh. Nest Card down. So Angel hadn't seen that yet and may look for some wolves here, but looks like he's gonna explore a little bit. Green Dragon on Angel's side has gone out a little bit too far into the desert here. So we'll likely see Angel check the treasure. I'm surprised he didn't save, but keys are so close it doesn't really matter. Yeah, he could very well just find gold in here. And then um, there's a key. And gold. There you go. <laughs> a 
along with an herb and a torch. So with this we have uh, a full set of six keys and also the potential to buy whatever is in the Rimmelder shop. Although, be it very slowly. Yep, if we see um, a broadsword or some full plate or something like that, I'd say Angel go grind for it. And in the basement we have Swamp, Swamp North. North. Yep. So looks like over on Iskar's side, he's trying to grind some gold for two keys, maybe? Angel Hero walks through the entire tunnel there and finds a golem on the other side and runs away from it. Druin Lord is okay. Could take him down fairly quick, but uh, we should have enough uh, capability with her to take it out first. Yeah, Angel picks up 58 there, quite nice. And we got 7, 8, 10, 10, and repelled. That's some nice, nice numbers there. Yep, that was across two levels, of course, level 4 and level 5. Nice card getting level 5 as well. Oh, Magi, a bit too much for Angel. Gonna get sent back home. And yeah, Druid Lord and Joel Maga, that's quite quite a nice zone, but there was a Golem there too, so I don't know. Looks like he's gonna grab the replacement key and at least the gold chest. Maybe the herb as well. Or just the torch. Now we find out what's in the inn, and likely what's in the shop. Just a dragon scale, but now we don't have to buy one later on. I yeah, saw a broadsword, I didn't see anything else. I feel like Angel is very, uh, very opportunistic and is very good at uh, finding good zones to grind in. Uh, Nesgard is just kind of good all around and uh, especially good at mapping. I don't even know that Angel maps, does he? I'm not really sure. I would, I want to say that he doesn't and he just <laughs> plays by memory, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, Aaron is confirming. Yeah, I don't think anyone goes into as much detail as Niskard does with maps anyway, but um, yeah, some people can just play it by memory, as long as you don't play two or three seeds in a row. It's possible, Deep Nerf. It's, um, you know, you have to rely on your memory a lot more. But it is certainly possible. And then I've run into ones where I don't map and have lost, or hell, even ones I have mapped and have lost a cave. Uh, the shop had a large shield, magic armor, hand axe. Or maybe not. No, not hand axe. Um... Definitely a broadsword, though. So I'd certainly pick up the. Was it twenty three hundred gold needed for the broadsword and large shield? Yeah, looks like Nescard might be doing just that. And it's kind of nice that there's a key in there, because the keys aren't getting depleted. If I had to guess here, Angel is going to grind until he dies, then pick up the gold. And for now, just worry about experience. Do 
There's nothing in Rim other than Magic Armor that we'd want a Gold Grind set up for. Uh, Radiant and Return on level 6. But yeah, if, if we were to dive Mountain or Grave and set up a Gold Grind, we might quickly pick up 7700 and pick up that Magic Armor, depending on if we have Erdrix by the end. This picks up a broadsword and a small shield there. And some clothes. And we've got the Mountain Dave here. Angel picking up the harp in just one. Runs into an armored knight on floor two. Probably gonna get sent back home. Yeah, pretty quick. Potential magic armor and gold grind here, but... We'd have to loot at least two chests in Mountain, which at this rate is... Uh, Angel doesn't seem to be too interested in that after dying. up a silver harp. Angel finding a cave up north and it's the harp trade in. I'm gonna pick up the staff of rain which is one of the three items you need to create the drop. Get it out of the way now just in case you happen to find the jerk when you need him. Uh, it looks like cursed belt was the chest two on floor two. Of mountain. Wow, Ness got away from the Armored Knight there. Wow. 32 Agi, that is not too easy. Another key. And some wings. And I doubt he'll be as lucky this time. Nope, that last chest is going to be orphaned, perhaps for a while. Yep, so that's four out of five chests and mountain for Ness card, and potential gold grind here if he wants. And it looks like he wants. So I'd expect to see, what, 8,500 here? Yeah, probably. He's got access to magic armor, which is 7,700, and large shield for 800. Maybe, maybe an extra one for some keys. I think it just picked up all his keys on the grind that time in that uh, bottom right chest. Angel looks like he's back in mountain, going for those chests again. Running around at 12 health. Runs into the next night and gets sent home again. Not too much luck in the mountain cave for Angel. And Ness gets his magic armor and likely his layered shield here. Yep. So Ness now has some uh, passive healing, 1 HP every 4 steps. Angel does not at the moment, and has no heal spell, so has to rely on herbs. Angel also hasn't picked up any gold for that uh, broadsword. 
but is a little bit ahead on experience. We'll get level 7 here, I think, with this kill. Or not be far away from it. using poltergeist to level what is this <laughs> this will be level seven for angel and it's gonna pick up two three twenty four no two three zero twenty four maybe it was two, two zero. zero three twenty four yeah, yeah that looks like it 24 MP gives us a lot of casts of hurt. That's doing a bit of exploration here. It's found the top of the map. And the Leap Dragon. Uh, back attack from Stone Man is going to punch Angel back home yet again. Ness will follow him shortly from a Blue Dragon. saying I like using return to leave the throne room it is faster and when you have this much MP and nothing to spend it on why not uh, always save a set of wings just in case you run out of MP Nest card finding what seems to be the northwest corner of the world there, maybe. Doesn't seem to be much over this way at all. Angel kind of settling down on a on a grind to level eight. Which is going to come at 600 EXP. I'm just going to replenish here. Go ahead and maybe explore some more. Rimbledar item was a dragon scale. Yep, kind of interesting here. Uh, Nest card has a big lead on gear and like having things, and uh, Angel with a bit of an EXP lead. So not having all that gear isn't really affecting him all that too much, because I'm just using hurt anyways. Yeah, he's certainly keeping a lead on Nest card for uh, exploration. Or for uh, grinding, I should say. Just shows how Angel knows his spells. He can grind really well here with Hurt and Sleep. And Ness, I mean, doesn't need Hurt and Sleep, he can just swing the broadsword. And has that passive healing again, but the little bit of time Ness has been exploring, Angel has been getting levels fast, and I mean, both are very valid plays, and either runner is still possible to win here. This wolf doesn't kill Angel, this is level 8. And there he goes.
six, zero, twenty-eight, and seven. Big HP, already eighty-six HP here at level eight. Just eighteen minutes in. And no agility. No agi, no heal spell. No hurt more. But we have radiant. And there's a pretty good chance neither runner will ever cast it. Angel going back into mountain, and here's another armored knight. No, oh, no. Angel. These are uh, these are starting to rack up a lot of um, time loss for Angel. Angel has yet to get the second chest out of Mountain. Yep, nothing extremely important there so far, anyway. Back to his grind again. We'll probably go for level 9 before trying again, maybe. and the middle scorpions are decent targets now for grinding. At least until probably level 10, maybe? Seventy-five. Really looking for hurt more or heal more to be able to wander a little bit further. Next card picking up level 8. Let's see what he'll do with that massive gain in hit points. I feel like the other six people on the final eight are, are relieved of this matchup. Because <laughs> uh, this way they don't have to play against Nescard and Angel, only one of them. Yeah, they'll let each other take the, the odd one out. Angel not quite getting there in one go. Gonna have to walk back outside and walk back over there. Oh, I was expecting a mountain dive, but looks like he'll keep going for a level 9. And Ness picks up his Staff of Rain, or will shortly. Scared head south through this huge swamp. 
has herbs if he can survive the stroll magi, but if back attacks with a stop spell. Decides to fight it anyways. Ah, defense broken. Oh, can't defense break hurt more though. Alright, that's pretty good for Angel, who had, who had lost a lot of time in Mountain. Angel, two middle scorpions, no. Four middle scorpions away from the level, I think. Three, perhaps. Nesgard headed through a swamp north, runs into a stone man, gets the sleep off, and gets the guaranteed runaway. That accident, however. Gets the runaway. <laughs> 34 Agi, runs away from next night, no problem. Just wait until we have, you know, like, 90 and we won't be able to run from any of them. Uh, it looks like the only direction to go from here is east, and we saw all the way to the west. This is just an island so far, unless it opens out to the west, or to the east, I mean. This was a little tempted on that Droll Magi, but remember the hurt more and decided to back away. This is uh, east side of the world, and maybe southeast side of the world. Angel leveling a second level on a poltergeist. What is this? Eleven two two one. For level 9. Gonna do a dive swamp for the third time, I think. Ah, uh, mountain. And second cannon is a big bust. Nothing there. Except some vision of the of the southeast part of the world. Alright, Angel getting to chest number two and picking up the key. Number three, picking up the wings. We're full of Sherlock enemies in here. And we're out again. Nest card getting sent back by a green dragon this time. Yep, neither, neither Nescard nor Angel has gotten the fifth chest out of Mountain. Jay Cooper asking which game would they each change it to if they had a game-changing spell. I mean, if we're sticking with Dragon Quest, I think Ness would just go vanilla and Angel would probably go four. I mean, Dragon Warrior 4 would take longer, but eh. Angel finally gets his gold grind. Gonna go pick up magic armor and large shield and possibly some, uh, a broadsword. <laughs> Definitely a broadsword. Oh, and this card has definitely run four, but I think he knows one better, perhaps. 
Yep, Angel outfitting himself with the same gear. So we are tied for gear and items right now. Yep. Angel 100 EXP ahead, and this card has uh, maybe a bit more exploration, although it wasn't very useful exploration. Hey, there's another town here. It's Garenham, it's pretty big. I did see a silver shield there, so if they wanted to do another gold grind out of uh, Grave, perhaps. Curse Pelt number two. Three, apparently. Right, Throne Room and uh, Mountain and Garenham. And hey, we have Grave! Alright, so for any that don't know, uh, seeing three Cursed Belts means that all three search spots are in play, so... Uh, Cole, Hawk's Nest, and the Coordinates are all going to be items. And we're still missing one, two, three, four, five, six items that could be on those search spots. So if there are three elsewhere, good chance they're in here. Like that one. And that one. <laughs> the flute and the armor on top of Grave. Yep, and a fairy water. And at this point... Hmm. After finding two and there's only four left and all three search spots are good, you gotta think that he's not gonna dive right now. No, I wouldn't either. And it's fairly close to home, you know where it is now, so the dive wouldn't be too long to do after if needed. Yeah, meanwhile, this card is going for chest 5 in Mountain. Druin has Baby Breath here and Sleep. Angel is going to dive, however. I mean, I wouldn't dive, Coper, myself, knowing that the other three are out there. Other three items are definitely have something. But it's here, and you can do it fast, and maybe grind on the way, so eh. Oh, hey, a metal slime. Metal waste of time. This card is slow, so close to that last chest, but the Arbor Knight stops him again. And takes him out. Angel at chest number four in grave and finds the wings. This card cannot escape this night on the overworld. Tilo, what have you missed? Uh, we have three curse belts, so we know there are three items in the search spots. 
Uh, we had Rimmeldar next to start, even though... Uh, yeah, we picked up keys there. And gold in the treasury, so we could gold grind. In fact, both runners have gold grinded for magic armor, large shield, and broadsword. However, Angel found Erdrick's armor in grave, just a couple screens away from start. And I think that's Garenham there for Nis. That was Garenham. And just a torch for chest five and grave for Angel is going to uh... cast Repel and look for a Death Warp. Maybe grabbing that Silver Shield. Start working with Hurt, this could make the grind a little bit, or the uh, Death Warp a little bit longer. In fact, Angel has a chance of killing this. Yeah. It's gonna be a long fight, but, um. And does make the kill. It looks like by the time he finds an enemy to uh, kill him, which is another Star River, and he'll be no, no. Uh, halfway up the max. All right, there's a, there's an attack finally. It's it's a, it has seventy five percent hurt probably. There we go. Or maybe fifty. All right, is Angel going to gold grenade for the Silver Shield? Oh wow, 75% heal more on the Star River and it didn't cast it. Armor it was a uh, third chest in, or second chest in Grave. Which Nescar is picking up right now. And there's a golem guarding that fairy flute. Yep, an angel doing exactly that, doing gold grind for the silver shield in Garenham. Looking for 14,800? Yep. Grabs an extra chest, just to be sure. Nest card also diving grid. Very interesting. I'm not sure if Ness checked the shop in Garenham. Chat saying he did. So with this agility, I would certainly say that Ness is going to pick up Silver Shield if he gets, gets the chance, which he will. Oof, Angel finds that Wolflord has DL2 on turn 1, tries to sleep it on turn 2, and fails and gets dl 2 again and gets sent back. Unfortunately, I had not picked up the Silver Shield and did not save ahead of time. Oof. Well, we still have to dive for that mountain chest at some point, more than likely, so... You'll have another chance to gold grind. Or you could just take out a few gold men here.
Angel running into a dead end on the overroll. Gonna throw the wings and go back home. This card falls to a demonite who does exact damage to take him out. Ah yes, we want many bamboo poles. Yep, neither runner has made it to Mountain 5 yet. As there are armored knights on floor 2. And golems. And likely something else. Still no heal spells for the, the Erdrich's armor, pretty important. Ness going a little higher in a gold grind, perhaps looking for a flame sword. I'm not sure if there was a flame sword in the shop, but if there was, uh, Ziggy's saying there wasn't. So maybe just grabbing the gold because he is going to go out and explore soon, so might find another town. And Ness does manage to get there without the Wolf Lord interfering. Hey, Sherlock. Sherlock for Nescard and Double Town for Angel. Breconarian Hoxness. And a town above Sherlock as well. Oh, it's the same Double Town. Well, it was right on one. Nescard coming in from the south and Angel coming in from the north. No flame sword and bricks, and this just leaves again. Oh, it's Canlan. Ooh, Angel picks up level ten and hurt more. There is the flame sword in the lock shop for Nescard. Ordnance guaranteed. They're going to be 29 north, 30 east. This sounds like a, uh, a Yogi diagonal count. Yeah, it works out pretty good, actually. Let's see if Angel has been doing the homework. No, he's just going to go north only. Looks like Ness is going to continue exploring from here for now. Working on the golem because of the stop spell, wow. Yeah, basically the idea of the diagonal count is... You just move upright, 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 and you're not doing this little pause every two steps. And picks up the token on the coordinates for Angel. Coordinates are needed, but both players have them now, so don't have to worry about it. Ness uses that golem to get to level 10, 3 power, 3 speed, 4 hit points, 5 magic, outside, and hurt more. Ah, 
Ah, the Armored Knights aren't gonna last much longer anymore. Perhaps another uh, Mountain Cave dive is due. Full of Sherlock. Let's see, we haven't seen Tablet Cave or Freebie Cave or The Last Just in Mountain. And we're missing the sword, necklace, and stones, one of which has to be in Huxness. Or coal. The other, or the sword, has to, can be in either Coral or Hoxness, or could still be in Sherlock because we haven't found the Death Necklace yet. Ooh, Golems with Stomp Spell. Yeah, it looks like 75%. Oh, and an excellent move there, very nice. So Ness has used a, t to, uh, used a golem to take the experience lead a couple of times, but Angel just fighting the smaller enemies quicker has managed to keep him pretty much steady. Angel sees the golem and runs away. Oh, I guess he didn't have MP. The numbers on the tracker when they turn orange, so they start off at red or flashing red. Flashing red means uh, exact minimum they could be. Red is awful. White is okay. Orange means they're pretty close to where they need to be to end the game. And green is good for end game. So if you have all green stats, you know you're good. If you have green and a couple of orange, it's maybe. If they're all orange, it's probably not safe for end game. Of course, the runners don't see these. This is all just for. Uh, chat, basically. Angel finding Hawksness, just southeast of uh, Sherlock. A lot of stuff around Sherlock. And Ness in there, too. They're step for step, almost. Blue Dragon doesn't want to hurt more it. Maybe off to a bad start on the fight there, so I'm gonna try again, yep. Blue Dragon has heal. Nescar does have the Flame Sword, but decides to hurt more it anyway. Ah, the Death Necklace. And I believe that means Cole will have our... No, Cole could have our stones, but they could still also be in Tablet, in the Freebie Cave, or in uh, Mountain 5. We have another cave right here. Nice. Here's Freebie, this is kind of nice. Ah. And just a fairy water, but some info. I believe that leaves three checks now in the overworld. and tablet.
Yeah, I feel like the most likely scenario is just stones and coal and then sword and Sherlock, but... For sure, most likely, but we have uh, Tablet Cave here, so we're going to check that out. And I believe the other cave is going to be the Rainbow Drop Trade-In. Tablet Cave was just an herb, or maybe a key. Ness not even checking that other cave, he knows for sure it is the jerk. Don't believe anyone has checked the swamp spike, no. Right now I think we'd be looking for either Golem, Axe Knight, or Armored Knight. Or maybe a Green Dragon. Coal for Angel. And here's her sword. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Um, I mean, Stones is in um, Fountain 5. Yeah, the thing they've been trying to get all along. Did Angel find Tabot, though? Or Freebie? Angel has not yet. Yep, that's all the cursed belt spots accounted for. And we know that Stones has to be in Mountain 5, but, um... Neither Nescard nor Angel knows. Oh, Angel's still missing Freebie Cave and Tablet Cave. And uh, Nescard is missing Cole. Ooh, looks like Nescard is going to take down another Golem. The sweet 350. And another one. Misses the hurt more there and takes a death. Column could still punch Nuscard, maybe. But Nuscard gets it. So Angel's pretty close to Mountain again here. Will he go for it? It looks like he will. Should have no problem taking out those armor knights with her more. Yeah, this is really good. Um, go for the thing where you, that you know where it is, and instead of going for the thing that you don't know where it is. <laughs> now he may come back and pick up enough chests to do the gold grind, or he can actually just with this one. So he should grab a silver shield. He still does have to search for all those caves because the jerk is there. But when he gets there, he won't have to go back after. You know, this card taking down several more high tier enemies and uh, has about a, a thousand EXP lead. Maybe 800. Angel confirms the Stones of Sunlight. We're in Mountain 5. And is that coal? It is coal. I'm 
so Nesh should now know he has to dive mountain again. Alright, two golems for Angel. Needs to catch back up again. Sickness immediately cast return and is back diving mountain. And there we go, Angel is taking his death and should do a gold grind now for Silver Shield. Expect both runners to maybe check Swamp Cave shortly. No, Angel still has to find Jerk, so he'll be wandering around for a while. Nash should probably check Swamp Cave shortly to um, to see what the grind is there. I'm sorry, Aaron, that was me. And there's Nest Cards. Coordinates. Gonna pick up uh, the final of the three items, and Nest Card already knows where Drake Cave is. Yep, he has to cross a small street over here somewhere, I think. There it is. Grind enemy of the seed so far is probably a golem. Yeah, golems with stop spell. 75% stop spell. Angel's living dangerously, looking around for those last couple of caves, but hasn't picked up a silver shield yet. This card headed straight to Swamp North to check the uh, the spike in there. Oh no! Did Angel go to Second Continent? He did. Yeah. Oh no! He was killed here fairly early in the seed, so didn't get to see it all. Looks like that stone man was the swamp, so Ness has said nope. Yep, the spikes are blue dragon in Huxness and stone man in swamp. Neither are too desirable. Uh, when there's just random golems walking around. <laughs> I'm 
So I know there were a lot of golems up in this area and over by the um, the two caves, the trading caves. But I think possibly about doing a uh, Sherlock first floor grind, maybe. Finally gets a silver shield. Still Ooh. no heal spells here at an hour in at level 13. I did just notice the HP is at 136, which means we can use the death necklace. So that may mean uh, go on around 120-ish attack power. Yeah, MP also quite high at 116. It's going to be 14 heal marks. Really need another 30 ish strength and uh, eat agility, probably. Uh, 10 agility. This card has found a decent zone here with these golems. And yeah, we'll keep going at them until he gets heal more for sure. So level 14 here we have 0, 9, 15, 9, and heal more. No strength when we needed 30. Putting on the death necklace early. Wow. So not a bad play, because we still have 114 uh, HP. Now our attack power is over 100. And we have a healing town just outside of home, so even if you get told you are cursed, that we're cursed and must leave, um, you can heal in five or six steps. Up to 15 heal more is now for next card. Still wandering around looking for that island with the uh, caves. Spork asking if you level up wearing a death necklace, do you only get 75% off the added HP? It is off the total. Whatever your total would normally be. Yep, Ness card firmly in the driver's seat here. It has the EXP lead, has the item lead, and the positional lead as well. For those who haven't been paying attention to the map, not that I have for any means, but I believe Angel has to go east, find Sherlock, go a little south from that, and then keep moving east. Yeah, and then past that cave, and then more east, and then there's two more caves. 
unfortunately, I think you'll find Tablet first. Or no, Freebie first. Uh, which, well, I guess doesn't mean anything. He has everything he needs, so he'll just skip the cave and keep looking. Too far north here, it actually has to head a little west and then go down. Nope, I was wrong. Okay, keep heading east here. To the north. Not south. Alright, level 15 already for Nascar. We've got 7 power, 4 speed, 7 hit points, 3 magic. Still looking for a minimum of 20 strength. Uh, that's 16 heal <laughs> Those stats could probably get away with a little less than 20 strength, but that's where you want to be, for sure. I think he'd go as early as uh, 124 AP. Probably can, yeah. Maybe 123? Question from chat. You can't save scum at level up stats? That is correct. They are completely fixed and set in stone since since the beginning. Sixteen is ninety seven fifty and seventeen is twelve thousand. Yeah, Nescard is a, a master of knowing exactly what to do at any given moment, and going to this desert and grinding golems is exactly what he needed to do. <laughs> Angel finding lots of red dragons here, which are a little harder to take out, because they actually attack back, but give the same experience. Is true, but they are both capital Z, which is strength HP, and 99% uh, of all all racers just pick strength HP. I am the 1%. <laughs> Along with a couple of others, we've seen a few people running strength agility. This card pulled ahead because he happened to find some caves that Angel hasn't, which are caves we needed, and um, has just been able to focus decidedly on the grind. Yeah, Brick is right next to Sherlock. You pretty much have to pass by there, and it's probably the healing down you'll use. Oh, 16, 5, 4, 6, and heal. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, still would like to have eight or nine more AP. Angel headed in the right direction again. And immediately turns around. Yeah, you need a minimum of 100 um, D or AP to damage the Dragon Lord. And you add 100, I think it's still a yes or no on one. If you have 102, you're guaranteed one. I think. At this juncture, I probably wouldn't dig Pyramid for Fighter's Ring. You've got enough HP to get doubles, you've got enough MP for extra heal mores. I mean, unless you're like at 120 or something like that, just want an extra two, maybe. Yep, right now they're just grinding for enough attack power to comfortably defeat the final boss, Dragonlord. Just eat it up. Around 123 or so. Yep, eat it up. Uh, 130 would be a maximum of 15. And a minimum of 7. So Angel will hit 15 here with this golem. You know, on this card, two golems away from uh, 17. Spark, you cannot sell the Death Necklace once it's equipped, um, and once it's removed, it just disappears. Okay, Angel headed in the right direction again, but it's going to stop here for some healing, I think. Oh, Ness is level 17 and has 121 AP. Almost enough HP to use a Death Necklace again, if such a thing were possible. And Angel now finally headed in the right direction, finds, I believe that's Freebie Cave. Wants nothing to do with it and should see these two caves over here if he crosses the bridge. Fairy waters. I, I'm not very comfortable here, but uh, maybe an card will go for it anyways. It certainly doesn't feel comfy. Not completely, no. There are going to be a lot of low swings. Pretty much guaranteed doubles. Not every time, but 
he can get some doubles for sure. Then again, this card's opponent is Angel and might be taking that into consideration. And this card has no idea that Angel is struggling here. Yeah, we're now we're 14 and all the items in the overworld. You kind of think that the other player is getting close to go. So yeah, NASCAR gonna go into Sherlock, and that kind of keeps Angel alive a little bit, because this is like the only situation where Angel still has a chance, really. A questionable uh, amount of attack power from this card might lead to a wipe, which could get Angel back in it. Angel finally finding the drop. Burning cave and let's just settle down on some golem uh, golem fighting. Looks like he's going for the blue dragon instead. You know, a difference here when Nescar was grinding, he used that death necklace early, so he had 110 AP at this point. Angel only has a hundred, so the grind will be a little bit slower. Also, question, from, question from Chad: Why does this card have less HP at a higher level? Well, because uh, this card has already equipped the Death Necklace, which uh, depletes twenty-five percent of your max HP. You can see Angel at level fifteen has one hundred and sixty-one, and. I mean, that's, I think, 131 is what you need in order to equip it and still have enough HP for an easy Dragonlord fight. Going into Hoxness there felt kind of weird. Uh, did Angel forget what was in there? Maybe just hasn't seen a decent zone with that Golem in it. He only went in and killed it once and then left. Meanwhile, on this card on the bottom floor. <laughs> 121 AP. Certainly not the lowest we've seen, but um, it's, the, it's getting there. I would definitely get Fighter's Ring here. Or look for it. Because it knocks off two turns. Yeah, at that AP, I would agree, I think. Or at least check the, the chest in this floor. I wouldn't go back for Judge's Table, maybe, but... McGrew seems to think he'll win with two to three heal mores to spell, and if anyone would know, it would be McGrew. He's the creator of this randomizer. Gonna herb up to 129 and engage Dragon Lord 1. With a whopping 16 heal mores in the tank. And 90 defense. Gonna stay at 97 HP and keep swinging. Max melee swing on Dragon Lord 2 is going to be 47. Swings for 8. There's a 7, so 15. Twenty-two. Angel has found an armor knight zone to grind on. Thirty-one. 
42. Good roll, 55. And a 67. But fairy water does between 9 and 16 damage on enemies. 94. And at our current attack power, we'd be doing 5 to 10, I think. Yeah, I got some really nice rolls here. 101. I guess five was mineral. Yep, five should be min. It rounds down. Fifty-two against some real bad rolls. And there we go. What? Looks like Dragon Lord Two didn't have that much health. Your GG's on for Nas Cardinality. He's going to take down Game One in a best of three versus Angel. Finishes in first place with a time of 122.06. Yeah, it just goes to show how how experienced these guys are. He <laughs> Nescar just always doing the right thing, going going to Sherlock when he needs to, grinding the golems when he needs to, exploring the map when he needs to, just it's very consistent on uh, knowing what to do at any given moment. That is why I'm not in this tournament anymore. <laughs> I feel you there. And that will be Ness Cardinality, GG. GG, thank you very much. That was a close race right up until the end. Angel couldn't find the last three caves. Um, tablet freebie and uh, Rainbow Drop, of course. Oh, I see. Uh, that little section buried to the side. So that makes me think uh, there was probably a lot more space past Cole. Cole was the last location I found, and there was only one way to explore beyond that for me at that point, and it was like literally the bottom half of the map. So there must have been a lot of space down there. I don't really remember, but Angel did have a fairly uh, about a thousand experience lead for a while. Uh, just didn't go under Sherlock, really. Yeah, Angel um, uh, went up early on EXP, pretty early on, and um, the fact that you got all the gear much earlier than him didn't really seem to matter that much, uh, as he was just hurting everything in the early game and uh the fact that you had gear and he didn't didn't seem to to matter really that much neither of you really found the fifth uh chest in mountain uh for a very long time which was needed 
Uh, what else? You just kind of settled into a nice little golem grind uh, much earlier than Angel did. And Angel just didn't find the, the drop cave. Your routing seemed uh, to be uh, very nice. Can I ask what Angel was grinding on towards the end? Currently grinding axe and armored knights somewhere, and red dragons somewhere southeast, I think. Yeah, he never got in, into that nice desert golem grind that you got into. Yeah, the golems are so sweet. Uh, I never saw a red dragon, so I'm not sure where he was. Uh, but you say the southeast. I did see armored knights down there, so maybe I'd been through that zone. I just never saw a red dragon. And I was lucky enough to have a golem stop spell me. Like, I think it was a preemptive. And that put it in my head to try fighting them when I had the flame sword and no heal spells. And yeah, it was 75% stop spell. And, and that's when I knew that was my grind if there was nothing in the swamp cave. I believe Chet is also applauding the use of the death necklace. They thought that was appropriate. Their what, sorry? The use of the death necklace early to get that extra strength for the grind. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I remember I was thinking about it, and then I got a level that I was close to, and I saw that we were nowhere close. And I said, this is, it's time, you know, like, unless we get a super level, I'm probably going to have to grind multiple levels here. Uh, so there was there was no decision to make, and, and yeah, I was very happy about that, too. It was nice to get the boost. So Angel just hit 17 here. I think he's going to buy up herbs and probably fairy water and then make a dive. Yeah, 17 was when I went. There's no question he'll go as well. Uh, it's it's uh, such a clear win, and, and Angel has ex a lot of experience with uh, fairy water situations. He knows... Uh, I didn't expect to have so much magic left, but I knew that it was a clear win, and I also knew that there was no way I was going to detour for the ring if I didn't lose any heal mores on the way, because I just didn't need it. Yeah, I think mm. McGrew had you pegged at a 99.8% win rate. Uh, Drek, I yeah, guess, yeah. I might not have thought it was that high, but in, in my head it was just like, ju just like a, a clear win, a clear huge advantage, and... And yeah, there was there was no thoughts about uh, uh, consolidating with the ring or anything. I just didn't think it would make enough of a difference when when we were this far ahead. So yeah. Yeah, that's one thing I mentioned. Uh, here I was thinking like, oh man, it sure would be nice to go get the fighter's ring and, and knock off two turns off the DL2 fight. But you guys are so experienced that um, you know you guys know <laughs> you guys know better. Than me. Yeah, that's, the, that's the, why you're in the journey and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's downstairs, uh, it you know it might take an extra minute or so to walk up and get the treasure, run from enemies, walk back down. So uh, so yeah, you're probably right. About two extra turns, may, maybe even three. But uh, yeah, like th that might be you know thirty seconds or less. Whereas the the minute that it might take to walk up there, I didn't I didn't want to spend that when I didn't have to for sure. And we do have Chad asking if you felt the hit or behind during the race. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's always a great question. Uh, I definitely was worried about being like, I don't know, my, my brain said like five or six hundred experience behind. Uh, for a lot of the game, because of a number of things, including the death in the mountain cave, not finding a great place to grind, uh, you know, settling in on wolves in on forest tiles, I never really liked doing that. But I just never found a better zone, and I, I sort of felt that way until I found that there were go like I knew there were golems north of the towns, but I wasn't sure if I could fight them on the desert tiles. And when I found one on a desert, that's when I started to feel ahead. I thought maybe he's not going to find this, and if he doesn't, I feel like I'm just going to soar ahead because golems are so much better than anything. So that's how I felt. Well, you're pretty much right. I mean, the first half of the race, you were slightly behind in experience, maybe a little ahead in exploration. Uh, Angel found Mountain Cave first, but never found the last chest until after you did. He died four or five times in Mountain, I think. Oh, wow. Uh, and did find the armor a couple minutes earlier. Funny thing is, both of you dove grave at the exact same time. You were maybe ten steps behind him. Oh, that's oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. I was going to ask about that. Uh, both of you dove grave when uh, with three cursed belts and four major items left. So I thought that was interesting. 
four um, items left. Yeah, that that was the reason then. If if there were four items left, I wanted to make sure that I was just done with the cave while I was in there. Um, I didn't like that I didn't have outside, but um, if there's one obscure edge case that I feel I have uh, an authority on, it's when to finish the grave. And this, in my gut, my gut was telling me that this was one of those times, that I wanted to get the chests right now and not have to worry about them. And it felt like, based on what I had seen in the mountain cave and upstairs of grave, I felt like even without outside, it would be easy to get a death warp. And it didn't take too long. So Angel, actually trying to death warp out, uh, managed to chip down a Star Wyvern. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> Whereas I think you found a Demon Knight fairly quick. Yeah, that's right, On the, uh, just on the next floor. Uh, it's funny, uh, the, the first Star Wyvern I saw, I think I got an excellent move for 51, and then destroyed it with like two hertz i think i didn't find out until later that they had heal more and i guess i was very lucky to get that star wyvern early that was nice yeah another big thing for angel was yeah angel died multiple times in mountain trying to trying to get the fifth chest in mountain to the armor knights on the second floor also angel died uh before he bought silver, he did the silver shield grind, got the money, and then walked over there, died to a wolf lord on the way. So did not get silver shield first try. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I remember thinking, uh, you know, like, just, all I was thinking was, please don't be the sword at the bottom of the mountain cave. Anything else, I'd be okay with. So I was pretty relieved when I saw the sword somewhere else. But, uh, you know, I've I've seen these races. Uh, there was oh the actually my own race against Nimenva, I think uh, on the very last chest of the mountain cave was the sword, and he I think they said he died in there three times, and that's that can be just so crushing. And this is one of those seeds where the most important thing was having as much strength as or attack power as possible until we got hurt more at least. So that was the one thing I was majorly worried about. I I was relieved to like once. When I was going into the mountain cave, I knew that it had to be a vital, but obviously I knew it wasn't the sword, so I was relieved. Yeah, I think probably shortly after Grave, the two of you had split and seen different things. Uh, Angel had found coal, and you had found freebie tablet. So between the two of you, we knew exactly where the stones were, but of course neither of you did. Yeah, also you found Second Continent way earlier, and then... Later on, uh, Angel had to go, while well, he, he went and checked it, and obviously there was nothing there, so... Yeah, a pretty small area, it probably didn't matter much, but uh, I guess it was nice to know uh, that there was nothing there early on, because the way the map panned out, you know, it was a lot of narrow stuff, and... When I had only coal to find, there was only one way to go. That's just sort of how it worked out. I explored the entire north half of the map uh, and found everything but coal. Uh, and I, I, yeah, I think that just worked out really nicely. The fact that uh, we were at the top of the map and there was so much concentrated there. And then all I had to do was go in the one direction that was left to get coal. Angel better not be heel walking. He's here on the bottom floor. Has 166 HP. Why would he you is heel walking? <laughs> well, I've, I I have heard tales of him doing a lot of meme things against the Dragon Lord. So I don't know. Maybe he's just having fun right now. I I don't know what the situation is, but obviously he hasn't put the death necklace. I guess I could look at DWR now or uh, RPG Limit Break. Uh, he just used an herb after a couple heal walks to get up to 172 HP and is now uh, fighting DL1. And is immediately using the, the uh, death necklace. Chad expects a few sleep attempts on DL2. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So race 2 for you two is tomorrow night, I believe? Tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, and I think I saw that it's going to be on DW Randomizer. Yep, looks like it. 
Very nice. Any plans to do anything different? Or are you just gonna do your own, your your normal, usual, consistent play? Just my own thing. Uh, I was happy with my decisions overall tonight. There wasn't anything that I felt was wrong that I did. So, uh, and I, I was just you know basically focused on uh, playing optimally and and being fast. You know, not waiting around thinking too much and just going with my gut and everything. So. I will continue to do that tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to having fun with it. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I'd like to see it go to Game 3, just so we see more of you two racing. I mean, you are the really the top two standard players in the, in the community. I know people do love their quantity. Yeah, I mentioned that the other six in the top eight are probably uh, like you two facing each other, because then they don't have to face both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to this from last year. This was uh, the same scenario that the two of us got last year. Um, so I've, I've, because of the the way that they set up the uh, the bracket phase randomly, I've come to think of the bracket phase as basically every match is the finals, uh, which is kind of weird to say because you know once you win a match, you haven't necessarily won the tournament, but. Uh, but with this year, with so many good players, you know, reaching the upper echelon, it's it's almost like that every time anyway. It, it's almost like everyone is closer to equal, and it makes every match, you know, a serious challenge. And uh, it, all I can say is it must be a real treat for the viewers. For sure. I think someone had mentioned that seven out of eight of the final eight that were in last year's final eight as well. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, I think Metal Dream is probably the only new one. Yeah, Metal Dream winning the... the uh, not too long ago, the uh, training tournament. Oh, and Aaron also saying three of them are... three of the matches are rematches from last year. That's also amazing. Angel, a uh, good ways into his fight, has about 42 MP left. I haven't been counting the damage. I was sad to see that neither of you did the Yogi Diagonal coordinate count. Tisk tisk. Oh, what is that? <laughs> you just go up, right, up, right, up, right? Yeah, it's it's faster. Um, it saves maybe you know five or ten seconds. Uh, <laughs> I know really? it wasn't a, it wasn't a straight shot in this one. You would have you would have only been able to go like I don't know fifteen tiles upright, but it's still kind of you know. All right, like, well I'm learning as I go. Five second time save or something. <laughs> I, I appreciate the tip. Angel's now trying sleep with fourteen MP left. Yeah, I kind of developed that in the, the training tournament, and where I did a really nice one, it was like 40 north, 40 west. Uh, Angel just swung at 47. Which was technically a max um, physical that could have happened, but of course we could have had fire breath. And yeah. that is... Oh, he's going to walk back. Yeah, not that far. <laughs> All right, get some GGs in for Angel FM. Going to finish shortly with a time of one thirty-eight oh eight. Very good race. I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow night. Yeah, for sure. This was probably the most... the matchup I was looking the most forward to. I would expect Angel to be in for an interview shortly. In the meantime, I'm grooving to my victory music. I got the Shovel Knight track this time. Ah, very nice. So while we're waiting for Angel to jump in, uh, thank you to High Spirits for the restream tonight on RPG Limit Break. 
Thank you to Omega Strip for tracking, and of course to Yogi for co-commentating with me. And Nesgard and Angel for the amazing race as well. Yeah, I very much appreciate, as always, all the work that's done behind the scenes. Uh, I like it that you guys have a bit of a reprieve now with, you know, fewer matches each round. Uh, hopefully it's easier to get everything covered, but uh, it still takes tremendous effort and commitment from a lot of people, so... We all appreciate it, and uh, I know that includes the viewers, too. Yeah, it's great to get so many races on. Unfortunately, we couldn't get them all during this tournament. There's just so many. But the playoffs have been going pretty well for that. from Angel in the race room, so I assume he's going to join. He usually does. And there he is, Angel FM, GG. Hey, thanks, appreciate it. That was an interesting one. You had a, a good lead for a while, but just finding that uh, that Rainbow Drop Cave was your downfall. I think I'm more shocked that I actually had a lead at any point in that race than anything else. Yeah, oh. early on, um, this card got gear a lot earlier than you did, but you were just outside hurting everything anyways, so it didn't seem to make too much of a difference, and you had a you know, a nice little 200, 300 lead early on, and then uh, kept it for quite a while, and then, uh, yeah, he just started... Uh, grinding golems in the desert way earlier than you did and then took off from there. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Like, the only thing the gear would have really helped in the first place was to get the magic armor for, uh, for, like, the hurt more on the wolves and whatnot. I mean, that was the only thing that really would have been the only thing that really would have helped. But other than that, like, yeah, it's just trying to get to whatever, anything stats. I mean, because, like, I couldn't even get through mountain till what, five times? And even then, I didn't even finish it till, you know, I'm like, oh, let me just take the chance on the stones. Yeah, you had all those unfortunate mountain attempts, and then um, also I think it was uh, more beneficial for Nesgard to find con second continent way earlier than you did, and then you had to go check it later on, and there was nothing there, of course. Yeah, I mean, I only got the little check when I got there earlier, going through all the map or going through all the swamp with like no encounters, but then yeah, I didn't get much further, so I wasn't able to go check that. And yeah, just that little that little offshoot in the east that I thought, you know, I thought, oh, everything's clear from there, so. It must be in this like section of the southwest that I haven't checked yet, and of course it isn't. Oh, I had a question. What when you went into Hawksness, not the first time, but later much later on you went back in there and killed that blue dragon again. Did you forget what was there or what was that second trip to Hawksness? Oh no, I was just going there to uh farm on the blue dragon. I didn't know it had heal at that point. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah I hit it with... they didn't have heal, I'm, I might have actually settled in there if they didn't have heal, but I, I saw it the first time, and then uh, I realized that I could hurt more it. Uh, but that that wasn't really an ideal grind, obviously. Yeah, that's pretty much... Well, that was the thing, is I hurt more it twice, got the death necklace, and then just left. And I didn't yeah. see it till, till after. I'm like, okay, well, I finally found everything, I need to start grinding, and then yeah, just... Yeah, that's when I found that, and I'm like, okay, I don't think I can fight through this. I need to find something else. And then uh, one more question for me, for Angel, is uh, the Grave Dive, when you had already seen three Cursed Belts and four major items remaining, what was uh, what was going on with that? So basically that's just, you know, if I happen to find one of those four items in the Grave, I'm not coming back to this anyways, and I know, I know I don't have to go through, I know I don't have to go through Tablet, I know I don't have to go back the mountain, I know I don't have to go to Stone's Cave. I mean, unfortunately, like, you know, Jerk was on the way to all that, but, but I mean, it all, all it did was just like, okay, if I find one of these, then I know what I got to do. Yeah, I did the same thing, and I felt the same way. As soon as I got into the grave, just I wanted to get all five chests right there. Yeah, especially after getting armor, like, yeah, I got to take this risk now. Yeah. 
And of course, the other big thing, Angel, was uh, dying on your way to the Silver Shield from the Wolf Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was really unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, good old Wolf, Wolf Lord. Yeah, appreciate that one. Yeah. It was, wow. Yeah, it's just, it was a, yeah, oh, I don't need to save. What, you know, that, that sounds stupid. I, I can get there and then swing at the Wolf Lord. Oh, DL2. Oh, let me put it to sleep. Try to get it now. <laughs> DL2 again. All right, well, we are very, very much looking forward to tomorrow night's race, game two, of course, of Angel FM versus Ness Cardinality. Uh, it's going to be a fun one. If Ness Card takes a second win, he moves on. If Angel takes a win, then we have game three on Thursday night. Wednesday. Wednesday. Today is Monday, right. Yeah, thank you all again so much for putting this on, GD to Angel, and uh, looking forward to racing again tomorrow. Yep, I'm looking forward to it too. Hopefully I don't have as much bad luck as I did today, but we'll see. All right, and with that, and before we do this, of course, Free Enterprise, thank you for the raid. Uh, we are going to raid over to Billick, who is playing uh, Castlevania 2 Randomizer right now. So again, for Omega Strip, our tracker, High Spirits, our restreamer, Angel and Nesgard, our racers, and Yogi Monk, my co-commentator, I am Serverdirect86, saying good night, have fun, and see you tomorrow night.